Hi, I'm Ellis, and welcome to The Sound of Silence, apparently. I watched the beginning of this video, checked out his story. He's a secondary school teacher, which is high school. This is supposedly his first time in America on this video. He also took some kind of cool jabs at uh, Howie and Simon. I have not, I've definitely heard Sound of Silence, but not him singing it. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say, it's got to be amazing, right? I mean, but you kind of, I don't want to jinx myself or you or him, but let's, let's do that. And I, of course, I couldn't play the opening for you because copyright is, it's America. And Japan's pretty strict too, but this is American. Let's go. Sound of silence. Looking at you. I do want to turn it up. Ooh, I do like his voice. Yeah, so I, it's got to be commentary. I can't just let the whole thing play. They won't let me. But I do... He He's... His phrasing is a little different, and I like it. It's really difficult when you take an old classic piece because, like, I'm thinking of the Garfunkel one, Paul Simon and Garfunkel. And, uh, but anyways, pleasant, pleasantly surprised. I've come to talk with you again. Isn't that louder? Because a vision softly creeping. Very nice. Left it seems while I was sleeping. It's and the vision that was planted in my brain. It's not quite as sad. It's like it's beautiful. Within the sound of silence. Can I say it's he, he's almost singing optimistically? With sadness. Of silence. And in the naked light I saw. His voice is awesome. Ten thousand people, maybe more. People talking without speaking. He's like, he's almost singing operatically, but not. I don't really like opera. I like some opera, but most I don't like. He's he's just using like enough of it. King with a people talking without speaking. People hearing without listening. That is It's also unique. It, it has qualities of all of, you know, all the Broadway operatic singer. It's like a kind of a mixture to me. It sounds like Broadway slash opera, but it's definitely distinctive in his own. Pleasantly surprised. I love that. Each time he hits the low note, it bounces up. Let's back up. Let's back up 10 seconds. He hits like a low note and then catapults up like with straight power to the ascending note. And he bounces off of it and does it again. Yeah. Is that a key change? Yes, sir. Don't worry, we'll back up. We'll back up. Uh, just for me, when it comes to musicals and opera, the over-polishedness of it, exceptionally talented people singing, 
it just feels too processed, even though it's just a natural person. It seems like, you know, like a commercial seems too processed. It seems like the music's been commercialized too much. And that happens, especially if you're playing the same show, you know, multiple times a day for weeks on end. But there's a humanity in his singing and technique. But I think it's the humanity that is, uh, at least that's what I'm, I'm drawn to in this. Absolutely excellent. Perfect. I give it a 10. Back up for that last note. The last note. I like it when um, singers... I, I, I don't play violin or anything. I mean, I tried, but I'm not any good at it. I do like it because I, I think the quality of a violin and a, vi a viola cello I think has some of the most emotional content in it. And I like it when singers use kind of those qualities. And so on this last part of the phrase where he belts out, he if you, if you listen, we're going to play it back. He hits it really hard, singing straight holds it, and then adds the vibrato at the end. I just think it's so, because a lot of people don't use vibrato, and some people use vibrato all the time. I like it. I like it. It, remind, it reminds me of like classical string playing. Here it goes. Right there. Vibrato. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. This place is on its feet. That's uh okay. good for him. Good for him. That is exceptional. You know what's crazy is like as soon as I don't know how you are are but it's like as soon as the performance is done and everyone's like well, what's next? What are you going to do next? What are you going to sing next? What album are you going to be on next? What, the, what are you working on next? And it's like as soon as you hear someone be fantastically great you're like I wonder what they're going to do with it after this. Which kind of like sucks. It's like if I was him I would I'd ride this out. I, I could, man, I, 30 years from now, I'd be like, y'all remember that time? Remember that time that I sang Sound of Silence? I'm sure he's going to do better than that. That's excellent. That's so good. Hmm. <sighs>